Hey, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, video number 56. What's up? In the last video, we uh, went down Route 129, which took a while. took almost 29 minutes. So, uh, in this video, we're going to do Route 130, which, as you can see, doesn't take as long. Um, yeah, in this video, we'll do Route 130. In the next one, we'll do Route 131 and Pacific Logtown. But, uh, yeah... One thing uh, that I kind of want to say at the beginning of this video is, uh, in the last video, I had asked a question about what you guys thought about me speeding up the trainer battles, because, um, you know, that was a long video, and prior to that, I had had some, you know, fairly long videos as well. I even had one that was over half an hour. Although that particular video didn't actually have any trainer battles, which is crazy that it was still that long. But anyway, um... Well, I had the battle against Kyogre. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. Uh, I asked you guys what you thought about me s speeding up the trainer battles. Um, I did that back when I was playing Pokemon Blaze Black because at that time um, I had a time limit as to how long the videos could be. Um, and I didn't want to just start doing it out of the blue on this one because I haven't done it this whole, you know, time. Um, anyway, um, I just had one person give me feedback on that Kater85 and uh, said that thought it would be a good idea if I sped up the trainer battles. Um, as you can see, this one is not sped up. But um, since I only had one person give me feedback, I think what I'm going to do is uh, speed up the trainer battles in like, my longer videos, like videos longer than 20 minutes. I think I'll speed up the trainer battles in those. This one here, you know, 16 and a half minutes, it's already short enough. I don't need to do anything. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave this one as it is. <coughs> but yeah, if, if you have an opinion on it, or, you know, think I should should or shouldn't do something about that, let me know, because seriously, I, I want to make these videos, you know, as, as good as can be, and if you guys think, oh, you should speed them up, or no, you should keep them the way it is, you know, let me know. Seriously, I want to know. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm heading towards We're heading down uh, Route 130 now. Um. Yeah. I forg I totally forgot what that little dive spot was back there. As you can see, you can dive um, here in the middle of the route, just like Route 129. But um, I'm going to actually go to the other end of Route 130, battle all the trainers here on the surface. And then, um, after I've done that, I'll go ahead and dive and see if there are any trainers down uh, underwater. And see what I can find down there. You can usually find some pretty cool... Oh, it was the Grisius Orb back in that little dive spot. I found the Grisius Orb. Which is crazy, because, I mean, that little dive spot is so inconspicuous, and, I mean, if you miss it, I mean, I mean you could easily miss it. I mean, you've got the freaking, you know, Grisius Orb in there. You know, at least when I found the Adamant Orb, it was, uh, you know, kind of highlighted. You know, it was like the little ring there, which is underneath or above the seafloor cavern. Surrounded by sand, you know, it was kind of like, oh, you know what, this looks like it could be important. But that one there, no, it's just like, oh, it's just a little square, you know, whatever. So. Tentacruel. I always use Ruby against the Tentacruels.
Well, anyway, that was uh, about that speeding up the trainer battles with some kind of feedback that I asked for in the last video. Um, my question of the day, I was also, uh, also asking your opinion on something that maybe I should do. Um, if you watched my Pokemon X walkthrough, um, when I started the after game part, after I battled the Elite Four, I started to slowly um, phase in a new team, a new six Pokemon team. And it was, like I said, it was a very slow phase in. Uh, I didn't actually have the full team until the very last video of the Let's Play. Um, so I was thinking about doing the same thing here, phasing in a new team after um, I defeat the Elite Four. So I asked you guys who you thought, um, 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 I'm saying um a lot, who you thought I should use as a, use as Pokemon on a new team if I phase in a new team. Uh, Vincent Redon answered the question. Actually, he said that he didn't think that I should phase in a new team at all, that I should just keep the same team I have. Um, it's it's hard to work with new Pokemon you catch for your team, that it's too late to use them in battle. Uh, I, I recommend that you just do your after game portion with the same team you had heading into the Pokemon League in Elite Four. So, yeah. Now, I'm not sure what the after game of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire entails. Um, if it's if there's a lot to it, then yeah, I think I still will want to phase in a new team, but if there's not much, like if anything less than what there was in Pokemon X, which to be honest wasn't much, um, then I probably won't. The only reason that I was able to phase in a new team so successfully in that one is because I did a lot of off-screen gameplay. I was battling, um, like, you know, the restaurants there in Lumio City, you can go in and have those those restaurants with the with the wait staff and such. I was doing a lot of that, so that made it a lot easier for me to train up my team. Here in this game, you've got that match call system, which works out really nice. It works out a lot better than it did in Pokemon Emerald. So that might be a good way to uh, raise up some Pokemon for me as well. I was just running around there to make sure there wasn't any kind of awesome item that I needed to pick up. So if you remember in the previous video for Route 129, we stumbled across the secret shore. Do you guys remember that? Where there were all these little places where we could establish a secret base. And I said that I was going to come back to that later once I had a Pokemon who knew secret power. Anyway, this is the secret meadow, which is, you know, kind of like the secret shore in that you can establish a secret base here. Um, unlike the Secret Shore, though, this one actually already has some bases here. When I visited the Secret Shore, there were no secret bases there. So that's why I thought, oh, I should come back here and see, uh, you know, the layout of these. Because I want a secret base kind of like this. That has the staircase, you know? Because I, I got the staircase, and I want to be able to use the staircase. So I want a secret base like this that has two levels where I can actually, like, utilize the staircase. So... Um, once I get to Pacific Law Town, I'm going to uh, go into the PC and get a Pokemon that knows Secret Base. My Zigzagoon knows Secret Base, or Secret Power. So uh, once I get to Pacific Law Town, I'll get that Zigzagoon. I'll go back to the Secret Shore, and I might come back here too if I don't really find what I'm looking for there. D. O. <laughs> That's uh, that's kind of uh, that's kind of creative, I guess. I'm like that's a strange name, and then I like said it like to myself in my head, and I was like, oh, okay. I don't know why you had to do it that way. I mean, that's it's it's a person's name. I mean, you know. Whatever. Anyway, I was going over the answers to my question of the day. Uh, so, like I said, Vincent Redon thinks I should not even phase in a new team. Uh, Bryce Theobald did give me some suggestions for a new team. He said that he would recommend Mega Altaria, uh, Dragon Fairy uh, type. He also gave me the move sets he thought they should have, which is like really uh, specific. But that's cool. Um, but yeah, Mega Altaria that might be fun because I used an Altaria. 
um, in a walkthrough. I used an Altaria in my Spirit Gold walkthrough, but that was before Mega Evolution was a thing, so it might be fun to use an Altaria again uh, so I can Mega Evolve it. So, yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea of Mega Altaria. Uh, he said use an Ice type like Mega Glalie or Frostlass, not Walrein unless you want to. And no, I don't want to use Walrein just because I just used one in the previous Let's Play, uh, Expert Emeralds, so. Um, yeah, I like the idea of Mega Glalie, though, because I actually had one in the, um, well, anyone who played the demo had a Glalie. So I could, uh, send the Glalie over. I still have not sent my Glalie over from the demo to this game. I need to do that, like, seriously. But yeah, I like the idea of Altaria. I like the idea of Glalie. And, uh, the other one that he gave me, um, the suggestion for was Agron, which, to be honest, I really like that idea, too. Whenever I do a let's play, like before I ever start, I come up with like a like a short list of Pokemon. It might have, you know, 10 or 12 Pokemon on the list, maybe even 15. And it's a list of Pokemon that I think I might want to use in this let's play. And, you know, for the most part, I, I typically pick Pokemon from that list. But sometimes I'll, you know, just, you know, I'll run into a Pokemon in the wild like, ooh, I want to use that one, even though it wasn't on my list. I'll use it. But, uh, the reason I said that, told you about that kind of short list that I have, is because ever since, I don't know, Storm Silver or Bloody Platinum, I've been doing that, and, uh, Agron has always, 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 always been on that list. Um, it was, it was on my list for Expert Emerald, and I didn't use it there. It was on my list for this game, I didn't use it here. Agron has is always a Pokemon that has been on my, um, you know, short list for Pokemon that I want to use in, in LPs. And for whatever reason, I've just never used it. Let's see. Icicle Plate. There's all kinds of plates down here. So I really like the idea of using Agron in, in the uh, kind of the secondary team for this Let's Play. I think it could be fun and, you know... I also, if you remember in uh, X, I used a Blaziken in my secondary team, and then the very next Let's Play I did, Expert Emerald, I used a Blaziken on my primary team. So, uh, I could definitely do that with the Agron, and then actually use an Agron on my real team. Hmm. That's something to think about. And I guess, uh, Price Seabold says that it becomes a, a pure Steel type and loses the Rock type. So it only has two weaknesses, fire and ground. Yeah, I like that idea. I think I also want to try and work a fairy type into the mix if I do, um, you know, an after game portion. Just, you know, so that I, I have a fairy type. I used, uh, in Pokemon X, when fairy types were first introduced, I did use a Gardevoir on my team, uh, who was part fairy type. I really like that dual typing of Psychic and Fairy. It's it's pretty cool. It gives uh, Gardevoir like a good... Um, it actually makes Gardevoir competitive, or Psychic-type Pokemon competitive against Dark-type Pokemon, which I really like. This here stupid Celio is going to use rest. Okay, Umaga is up to level 44. How about that? Whiskash. 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 
Yeah, I don't know if sticking with Umaga was the best idea here. I probably should have gone into... Probably... I, I probably could have gone into Ahab here with, you know, Whiskash being part ground. Yeah, he's gonna use Earthquake. I think what I might try and do this weekend is play a little bit Pokemon Omega Ruby. Play past the Elite Four and to the after game just so I can kind of get an idea of what the after game entails so that I can make a better informed decision about whether or not I actually do want to phase in a second team. I might try and do that in Omega Ruby, phase in a second team and see how that goes. And if it goes well, I'll do it here, but if it doesn't, then... I won't. I think that I think that I think that's exactly what I'll do. I will phase in a second team in Omega Ruby and see how it goes. Let's see. I think that's everything. I, th I think we've done everything that we can here on this route. So, yeah. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. Well, uh, want to say thanks for watching. Um, this is Friday, so I, you know I don't upload videos on Friday that often. So, uh, what do you got planned for this weekend? Answer in the comments. I think it's supposed to rain here this weekend, so I'll probably just be staying in. But uh, what about you guys? Leave a like. Leave a comment. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>